Balancing acts, navigating the extremes of economic systems for fair wages and efficiency. Workers often find themselves at a disadvantage when trying to negotiate better wages and conditions alone. The individual effort rarely matches the bargaining power of larger corporations, leading to a struggle for fair employment terms without collective support. Laissez-faire capitalism advocates for minimal government involvement in economic affairs, emphasizing the freedom of the market to regulate itself. This philosophy suggests that without excessive regulatory constraints, businesses can operate more efficiently and competitively, benefiting the broader economy. Under this economic model, the private sector is seen as a key driver of efficiency and innovation. Proponents argue that the competitive environment fostered by laissez-faire capitalism encourages businesses to optimize operations, reduce costs, and improve product offerings, ultimately benefiting consumers. However, individual workers often face significant challenges when confronting corporate entities for fair employment terms. The power imbalance can lead to situations where workers accept less favorable conditions, unable to negotiate effectively on their own. The approach of minimal government intervention in workers' rights and pay issues can lead to potential pitfalls. Without adequate regulatory frameworks, workers may find themselves vulnerable to exploitation, underscoring the importance of some level of government oversight to protect their interests. The historical context of laissez-faire capitalism reveals a profound impact on labor markets, often to the detriment of workers. Originating in the 18th century, this economic philosophy advocated minimal government interference, leaving workers vulnerable to exploitation as industrialization surged. The balance between government oversight and economic freedom has long been contentious. Advocates argue that some level of regulation is crucial for fair labor practices, preventing the exploitation seen under unchecked laissez-faire systems, where worker rights are often sidelined for profit. Extreme economic models, including strict communism and laissez-faire capitalism, have shown limitations in ensuring equitable wealth distribution. Both systems, at their extremes, fail to address the needs of all societal segments, often leading to significant disparities and social unrest. Unchecked laissez-faire capitalism can have dire consequences for worker conditions and social inequality. Without regulatory measures, companies may prioritize profits over the well-being of their employees, leading to poor working conditions, inadequate wages, and a widening gap between the rich and the poor. Communities or corporations becoming overly dominant in minimally regulated economies pose significant risks. Such dominance can lead to monopolies and oligarchies that stifle competition, innovation, and fair market practices, ultimately harming the broader society and economy. Moderation and balanced economic policies are crucial in preventing the excesses of capitalism. By striking a balance, we can safeguard against the pitfalls of inequality and ensure that wealth distribution remains fair. This approach helps in creating a more equitable society where the benefits of economic growth are shared more broadly. Workers face significant challenges in banding together for improved conditions within a highly individualistic economic system. The tendency towards individual negotiation rather than collective action makes it difficult for workers to secure better wages and working conditions, highlighting the need for more supportive frameworks that encourage unity. Government intervention plays a critical role in protecting workers within a laissez-faire economic system. Without adequate oversight, workers may find themselves at a disadvantage, underscoring the necessity of regulatory mechanisms that ensure fair labor practices and prevent exploitation. The ideological divide between the need for government regulation and the value of economic freedom is a contentious one. Striking the right balance is essential for fostering an environment where businesses can thrive while ensuring workers are treated fairly and with respect. Laissez-faire capitalism has a different impact on small businesses compared to large corporations. While large corporations may benefit from less regulation, small businesses often struggle to compete, highlighting the need for policies that level the playing field and support businesses of all sizes. The call for a mixed economy that marries both capitalism and socialism is gaining ground as a solution for protecting workers. This model proposes a balanced approach, integrating the efficiency of the market with the security of social welfare policies. 
It aims to mitigate the extremes of both systems, ensuring that workers enjoy both freedom and protection in their employment. Historical analyses reveal that laissez-faire policies have had mixed outcomes across different countries. While some nations thrived under minimal government intervention, others suffered from increased inequality and exploitation. These variances highlight the complexity of implementing a one-size-fits-all economic model and underscore the need for adaptability and moderation in economic policy. Labor unions have historically played a pivotal role in the laissez-faire economic system, championing the rights of workers. By advocating for fair wages, safer working conditions, and reasonable working hours, unions have been instrumental in balancing the scales between employers and employees. Their efforts underscore the importance of collective bargaining in any economic framework. The evolution of economic thought has increasingly acknowledged the necessity of finding a balance between market freedom and government intervention. Economists argue that too much of either can lead to negative outcomes, such as stifled innovation or unchecked inequality. This evolving perspective is guiding new policies that aim for economic efficiency without compromising social equity. Societal implications of extreme wealth disparity have become increasingly apparent in economies practicing unregulated capitalism. This disparity not only affects economic stability but also erodes social cohesion, leading to a consensus on the need for policies that address inequality. Moderation in economic policies is viewed as essential for preventing the social and economic rifts caused by vast wealth gaps. Moderate economic policies hold the key to preventing the dominance of any single group or ideology, ensuring a balanced approach to economic development. This equilibrium fosters a healthy, competitive environment while safeguarding against the pitfalls of monopolistic or oligarchic systems. The collaboration between government, workers, and corporations is crucial for establishing fair labor standards that benefit all parties. Such partnerships promote an inclusive economic model where the interests of the broader community are considered alongside those of individual entities, leading to a more equitable society.